I am recognizing more and more the appearance on TV, newspapers, and movies, the discussion about bipolar disorder. Most recent appearance was related to the singer Britney Spears. People watched her and wonder, maybe she has bipolar disorder. All of us here at ASC, we do not support labeling people. We see many wrong ideas and understandings about bipolar. I think it's very important to make it clear. The basic idea is about mood swings. We all experience mood swings. We laugh, we become frustrated. But it's not the same. People with bipolar, it's more serious mood swings, more serious ups and downs. It's different. It's not the same as ordinary mood swings. A person cannot, cannot control it. Their mood swings are strong. In the brain, the chemistry is unbalanced and a person cannot be responsible. In the past, bipolar disorder was called manic depressive. It has two parts, mania and depression. Mania is when your mood swing is very high and you have positive feelings. You're very creative and you can make up things. You have good ideas. You have a lot of energy and you're very busy. You stay busy all the time. And you have, you feel powerful with your ability to But sometimes you just can't think, you don't think things through and you're impulsive. Some people actually become involved in gambling or shopping and run up their credit cards. In mania, the, your mood swings are up. When you're depressed, the mood is, becomes decreased. A bipolar person, they have the same emotions you're sad and it's hard to sleep or you sleep too much and you can't eat or you eat too much and you don't feel like you have any hope for the future and you can't concentrate and you can't enjoy just everyday life. Sometimes people even think about how they would like they want to die. Some people with bipolar, but people with bipolar disorder, they feel that, but only a lot worse. They are more depressed. Why is that? It's because they recently had a, a high mood swing and now their mood swing has dropped. One in five people with bipolar disorder does not take medicine, and one in five people will kill themselves. How, how long do the mood swings last in bipolar disorder? They're, it's not regular. For people, they may have completely different mood swings. And adults, maybe the mood swing will last maybe two, three, four months, weeks, or even months, and it'll continue. And then it'll drop down to like a normal level that's perfectly fine. And that may last weeks or months. And then later their mood will drop. And that could also last weeks or months. In children and young teenagers, we tend to see more mood swings in one day. Some adults also. It's difficult to recognize bipolar disorder. Um, some people, they tend to use alcohol or drugs 
to help alleviate some of that pain. Or they self-medicate to make themselves feel better, but it really makes it worse. Bipolar disorder causes a chemical imbalance. And up until now, research, they couldn't find a cure. You still can't find a cure. But you can control it. People who are labeled with bipolar disorder, they don't have to feel awful. They can have a good life with the proper medication, and they can control it just fine. But it's important to take the medicine with working with a psychiatrist so that he can alter the medication and find the right mix and the right balance. It's also important to eat regularly and sleep and go to bed and wake up in the morning at the same time. That's very important. Also, exercise is really important. Those three things, eating, sleeping, and exercise are really important for controlling bipolar disorder. And it's also important to have the support of your friends and your family. Sometimes people with bipolar disorder, they need to be reminded that, um, and someone to show you when your mood swing starts to swing because they can't recognize it on themselves. It's important to be able to have a person you can discuss it with. That helps a lot. It's also important to keep your stress level low. You need to learn how to recognize stress. Some people feel frustration and stress with their marriage relationship. One big myth about bipolar disorder is that people who have that tend to be violent or stupid or controlling. But that's in the movies. That's not real. Some people with bipolar are violent, but generally not. For example, some famous people had bipolar disorder. President Roosevelt, astronaut Buzz Aldrin, Many more. There's a long list of people with bipolar disorder.